<laughs> hey Wester here, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to reverse engineer the tool head installation or the SB2209 CAN bus board because all my footage, I don't know what happened to it, 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 it deleted for some reason so uh, so anyway I thought well at least we can pull it apart and you can see what goes where and how I install it and um, we can go from there. So without further ado, let's crack into the video. You guys? Yes. Um, well, don't have to. I just like to. <laughs> I'd like to give you a hand. So there's a little. First of all, there's a little printed forward bracket that you get, or if you get the parts printed off, it's got like a little raised to the C. Right, two little raised kind of bosses coming up from the side of it. That actually goes in towards. the chassis, so the raised up parts, it kind of goes like that inside here. So um, what I've found, the easiest way, so you're gonna, if you've watched my other video, you're gonna have to unbolt the, the two bolts that hold this on. One of them's from the front, and one of them is in behind, and that, that's what these two here are. This one here is for the tool head um, cover to, to lock onto here. And these two here are to mount it. So the other thing that I've found, so anyway, if you do actually manage to have a look through these videos before you assemble this, on the Rapido hot end, I would recommend soldering this on, changing this, because you have to, it's got one of these plugs on it originally. And changing it out for the 1.5 um, micro JST, um, I recommend doing that before before you start because it's easier to like solder and crimp and all that sort of stuff um, out of the machine if you can do that. Um, so then, so that's the that's the thermistor for the heater. That's the heater wiring here. This one here is the um, uh, motor. And the one at the very bottom, this one here, of which I've had to solder up because I don't give you the, this one here, is for the Voron um, tap. And while we're on that subject, on the Voron tap, if you have a look closely in here, have a look at the orientation of the wire. If you're using a non-chaotic lab, You'll need to also um, verify, take the tool head off, and verify the um, the markings on the board, because one will say S V uh, S N N V, so signal from right signal, middle one's ne neutral or negative, and the um, red one's positive. So if it's around the other way, you have to change your wiring. So be very careful of that, otherwise you won't 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 work. Uh, and, it, and this end here plugs into the tool board. So it all plugs in. So I'm going to connect this up to the um, my little assistant over there. Uh, so, so I've got my hands free and we can get into it. So we're going to grab the board. And the first thing to do is to put the um, thermistor the Rapido thermistor socket or, or whatever thermistor you're using if you're using um, this type with the two pin it'll go into this plug here on the left and that needs to be plugged in first because it's a very tight squeeze to get and just make sure that's clicked in there it's a very tight squeeze to get this in there you can't get it in there because it actually this housing here impedes you from getting anything in there once it's in so do that first just a trick for, um, and then we'll just roll it over on its back and we put the thermistor in. It just clicks in like so. It's got a click, yep, and lock in. And that's all we need to plug in for now. We'll get the, um, the Voron plugs into here, the Voron tap goes into there, into that bottom plug there, the second row. And then the um, CAN bus goes into here, and the um, plug for the motor drive here, the pancake motor, goes into this one. 
So um, I think I was saying earlier in one of the earlier videos, you can either run the pancake like I've done with the wires down here at seven o'clock, or you can turn it around 180 degrees and have them coming up and then they feed around the top gap here and come up and in. But I've had no problem um, with it this way. So, so then we've got a basically, um, it's kind of like a juggling act because you've got not much room. So grab your button heads, two 16 by 3 mil button heads, stick it on your, on your driver, and I'm just going to sit this bracket in place like that, basically. I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to put this screw through, and then I'm just going to, just because it, cause it actually needs to wind on and not too far you don't want to get it coming through here you want it just flush and then put the second one on I don't know how much of this can see but it's better than none so that basically lined this up with the back of the housing there hold your finger up and your tongue in the right direction and that, that one there actually comes through so now I'm going to push this cable back and tuck it through here and I'm going to come down and line up the position to get this lined up it's very tight to get in so I'm going to have to come through from the other side I think I need a bit better angle um, so I can see what I'm doing rather than you see what I'm doing so it, it is very tight to get in here um, it's got to drop right into the position It's very narrow, very narrow. Okay, I'm just going to pull it out just to have a quick look. Okay, it might be better to actually get the back one in first, maybe. Try this one. So I'll just push this in, into position. It's got to come forward a fraction. can be quite fussy to get in because it's just so tight and I can't see in the back there unfortunately without getting my head in the way um, I'll try this one again that's it that's cross threaded it's quite tricky to get in here that's it and this one here it's quite tight because it's um, jammed right in against the um, I'm just gonna have a bit of a visual look inside have a look down here, I don't know if you can see that in there. So in through here, you can see the red bracket right there. Um, and you can see that it's just not quite pulled up yet and make sure that you haven't bound up any cables or anything in behind like this one here for the um, for the thermistor uh, the heater wire and then we're just basically going to look from the 
front end where you are. And get it into position. Um, obviously it's not a load thing so it doesn't actually carry load or it does carry the weight of the cable of the CAN bus cable so you'll see it butt up and then stop so it's as tight as you need it and that's that part installed So yeah, so that's the toolboard basically installed. And now we've got it, now we can um, put this here. I've got, I oh know I've got a um, cable tie that's cheating, but um, this here comes, flips over like this, and it sits inside the, um, I don't know if you can see that. Just in the back here, there's the USB cable. It slots into place in behind that. And just sits in like that. Right, once you've got that lined up, you can put your the rear screw in the back. This one here, this one here. That's one of these 8mm by 3mm socket heads, and that goes up to the next size um, driver. So we'll just carefully put this one through here, get that lined up. And just don't tighten it up just yet, just tighten it and then back it off a half turn to three quarters of a turn because then we've got to put it come through from the other side and I'll clear a bit of gear out of the way so we can do that come back through from the front and I'll just turn around so you can see that as well right there it's exactly where we need to see as well so you can see the light coming through from the back actually right in here and that's the bottom part of the bracket and it go you, you put this in from the outside just on the grazy outside of this piece here and just put it in And this supports the whole CAN bus assembly at the back of the board as well. So we'll get that done up. And then tighten up the back one. Not too tight. Just tighten it up. Nip it up in about, about an eighth to a quarter of a turn at the most. And that's the board in. Uh, that, that's pretty much the board in. So we'll bring it back around, spin it back around the other way. So we can see what's going on here. Okay, so that's open up the little hatch. So that pretty much is a good shot to get all of the gear in pretty much. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to put the, um, the fan driver, driver assembly in. Just one sec. I just had this tucked in um, from underneath. 
I pulled it up from underneath and came back through, I think from memory, and it came back this way. Pretty sure I came up under here. Or did I? Oh no. Nah, so I've just basically twisted this around so that it actually, it actually goes, it goes in quite good. So you twist this around here like this and click it into here. So that's the fan. And then the Voron cable, which is lying down here, just plugs into this second port down. so that you know that it's actually in there and apart from the CAN bus it's cable itself that's <clears throat> that's the board and store so there's a little cover that goes over here over the top of this and that's what holds my cable into place so I'll show you that even though I'm not supposed to because um, technically we haven't got the can, cable, can bus cable in yet but that's the that's the assembly there I've had to quite heavily modify the cable itself um, to get this little bracket in that slides over because it's actually quite a bit, a bit too oversized for this so I had to do a fair bit of machining to get it in there and then that basically just sits It's over the top of here and I'll push this around the back and this all gets held in so that clicks into there this here goes up underneath that clicks in into there like so and then this bracket bolts on from the top through here with this little screw here this little um, little six mil six by three mil screw and that just locks it into place so that's how the tool head goes together and then okay so now all we've got to do is put together the SB0000 board and wire in the two fans and the LEDs and we're going to crack into that right now. Now the last thing to go on is the tool board, um, the SB000 uh, CAN pinout board. So this connects into your, um, into the front of your, there's some prongs coming through the front of the device. <coughs> so it's got your LED fans, your, uh, and your, and your two fans here. So the LED fans, so the board goes like this. You unscrew the two screws that hold the fan in. Um, and I'm just going to connect in the bottom fan to the left set of prongs. The red goes to the left of the, of the four. So like this. And the top one comes up here over the top of the board. Just hold it between your thumb and finger. And the, again, red on the left. Because you, you look, they look like they're red, but it's red and black, I think, the cables. Like that so you've got red black red black and then this one here for the LEDs goes into the very bottom three triple plug here like so okay and then that just basically goes down into position tucks in and it just sits there and you get your little four six millimeter by three millimeter button head screws 
and then just line up one of the holes like so just get that nipped up put the second one in line the hole up by eye there so you can see that it's lined up and then you've got the front cover to go um, and that's you've got your your two 50mm screws and your two 30mm screws like so and they the, that's quite um, you need to be patient with it to line it up because sometimes it doesn't quite line up with the uh, CAN bus uh, adapter board here in the front so you've got to make sure that you're not catching on anything or crushing anything and then once you're lined up that's it that's in and then just do it up now we can just do this, this up now just do it and then just check your fans make sure the fans both spin without any you know you haven't got any cables jammed in there um, and it ends up being quite a tidy little tidy little setup there so that's nicely tucked in out of the way um, so the tool head can come down now So when this is bolted down it actually pulls that, yep, and it's like that. And I, I, I try and tuck these little cables in behind that, that little capacitor there. As I'm closing the lid so it doesn't bind on any of the cables. And that's it, you just basically do the little nut up there, little screw, and that's your tool head done. Assembled. So now we're going to move on to running the CAN bus cable from the tool head back to the chassis. So yeah, apologies, I did lose, yeah, I don't know how, but I lost the footage, um, quite a few bits of footage. I've had to reshoot because I just don't know what happened to it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Westy over and out. Hey, if you haven't done so already, please like this video just to get it out there with the algorithms, all the YouTube stuff, you know, the geeky stuff. And, um, you know, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get the latest information coming out. And put your comments in below, any ideas, anything uh, you want me to do a video on, just let me know. Cheers, Westy, over and out.